Okay. For this one, this says that a bank issues three annual coupon bonds redeemable about par, all with the same term, price, annual effective yield rate. And they give us three different scenarios dealing with different coupon rates. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to find what this is. So what we can observe here is that the Obviously, this question calls for the bond pricing formula. So, we know that the equation is always consisting of where the redemption value lies and where uh, the coupon payments arise as well, right? So they're saying that these bonds are redeemable at par, which means that the redemption value will equal to the value that we're using to multiply the coupon rates by. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rearrange this type of, um, this of bond pricing formula, just so we could set it equal to R, because that is what we're trying to find. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first take out the common F. So we're left with this now. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring F over, right? And bring F over. Then we're going to subtract the B to the N. Then we're also going to divide this whole thing by A to the N I, which makes this whole thing equal to R, right? So this means that we, since we're dividing this portion by this, that means that it will turn out to be P over F A to the N I minus V to the N divided by A to the I again, which will end up being like here. Now we found out our formula for the coupon rate. Now given the scenarios over here, you see that the first bond has a face value of a thousand and animal annual coupon rate of five point twenty eight. So we could set this equation to find equals to so another thing is is that we notice that they, they consist of the same term same annual effective yield rate and what i notice is that the face value given over here is a thousand right so we are not necessarily sure of what the price is but they say that the price is all the same. So we're just going to note this as one over a thousand. Another thing is that they have the same term and the same annual effective yield rate. Um, But the thing is, is that we can't really determine, yeah, we can't really determine the price even though it's all the same, and we can't determine what is happening with this portion, but it is all the same. And we notice that this, uh, this portion also has this and same as with the P's. So we have to morph this whole equation into a Y equals MXB type equation. So what we can do is we could turn um, this 
into an x over 1000 and we can denote this as y right we could plus y on this right another thing is that for the second one the, the coupon value is 0 0.0440 we can also do the same here x over 1100 because we don't know the price so we're just going to set it at equals as x this remains ambiguous um and since these parts are the same throughout as well we're just going to generalize y to make it simpler now we're going to do systems of equations and uh simplify right so I can cross out y and y here and values. So I could get 0 0.0528 minus 0 0.0440 would be 0 0.0088. Then I could combine both of these. So I could do oh. I could combine them by making the denominators common. So I could do, um, what's the one? I can make this 1100x minus 1000x over. 1.1 million yeah I could solve for x so I could do which is 980 on this side and then 100x so so x is 96.8 Right, so if x is 96.8, that would mean that for this formula, I could set it as r equals to x over 1320 plus y. So we figure out now that x is equal to 96.8. So get rid of this. Another thing is, is that we have to plug in 96.8 into either, the, either of these equations to find out what y is. So I'm going to choose this one. So I'm going to do 96.8 divided by 1,000, which I'll get 0 0.0968. And then I'm also going to do 0 0.0528 minus 0 0.0968 and get negative 0 0.044 right so i'm gonna end up getting 96.8 divided by 1320 plus or negative minus 0 0.044 now i'm gonna do 96.8 divided by 1320 minus 0 0.044 and then I'm going to get 0 0.029333 as the answer. So convert it to the percentage would be 2.93%, which would mean that B would be B.